Varanasi, older than history, a spiritual and pious city of India, has been a center of attraction for centuries. It is not merely a geographical location, rather it's a living illustration depicting the key concepts of human existence as dharma, artha, kama and moksha. Apart from these larger than life concepts, it has been the focal point of arts and artistry. The lanes of Varanasi is flavorful, colorful and aesthetic as well. It contains the essence of vast culture and tradition of human civility with artistic expressions. It is my pleasure to introduce one of the oldest and a pure Varanasi art which has unaltered and reverent. It is none other than Varanasi wooden lacquerware and toys. Varanasi has been one of the largest toy making center in India and the city has been practicing this traditional craft for many generations. According to the sources, the artisans believed that lacquer toys started when a ruler of Rajasthan state was descended by the Mughal emperor. Supporters of the previous ruler, the common people had to leave their houses and start a livelihood in the forest. To earn for their families, people started making wooden toys and selling them to the king and in the market. In this craft, only local wood sourced like mahua, mango, eucalyptus, keema, chilbil, Aldu, locals say that earlier sisham wood were used in making these toys but due to dearness, cheaper and lighter wood is sourced now. For making these toys, the wood block as per the size of the toy to be made is cut from the log the piece is cleaned and sanded to get a smooth surface. The design of the toy to be made is traced on the piece. Extra wood is chipped off according to the design. Fine strokes with the hammer are made on the chisel to give shape to the wood piece. It is again smoothened with a file. Sometimes the whole toy is carved out from a single piece of wood whereas in some cases different body parts are carved separately and joined together with adhesive. Each wooden piece that is cut to make an item is subjected to a process of slow heating to draw out all moisture. After wood carving, wood turning is the next process. Wood turning involves using a latte to create objects from wood. As the latte turns, the wood remains in the same position and slowly is shaped. Using this basic process, it is possible to create many different objects from wood, including some designs that are intricate in detail. It is of two types, a spindle turning that involves using wood where the grain runs in the same direction as the latte bit. Second is face plate turning in which the wood grain runs vertical to the rotation of the latte. Workshops are set up with turning machines powered by electricity. Around 5 to 10 craftsmen work together in a single workshop. Wooden locks cut in small pieces using a saw. After this, they are brought here and fit into the machine. First, the machine peels off the outer rough skin to give a cylinder with a smooth surface which is further used to give required shape with the help of skilled craftsmen. This work requires a proper observation of the artist. They cut the wood locks and after cutting, carving, they tried to fix the each wood locks for getting the desired shape of toys. In the video, you can see the artisan is cutting the wood locks and trying to give the shape of auto rickshaw which is very popular in India.
after fixing again they smooth in the surface of toys and this will help to get a proper and fine shape of the toy In the video the artisan is showing the final wooden auto rickshaw without coloring After carving and lacquering painting is done vivid colors are used to paint the body For painting the brushes made of squirrel steel are used for fine work final touch is done by the kevda leaf which is pressed over the wood while turning it and polish the product clean varnish is used to give a finished look to the final product varanasi wooden lacquer ware and toys received the geographical indication tag in 2015 wooden utensils spinning tops birds animals butterflies complete sets of orchestra dolls of all shapes and sizes furniture are very popular in this category these beautiful toys also depict social life rural activities religious inferences as well as traditional indian motifs and culture it is very heartwarming to see these hugely popular sustainable wooden toys are in great demand in india and exported to various parts of the world in large quantities A tremendous variety of wooden toys are made in Varanasi which can be classified into different categories namely cultural religious traditional animals birds and modern toys in each theme the toys are treated in different manner if we consider religious toys they are predominantly two dimensional carved with hand and painted gaudily they showcase indian patterns and motifs these toys depict mythical and pious stories of the past if we look at the cultural theme toys they depict different classes of society the daily activities and lifestyle of the people in pastoral india and also some ancient professions which are popular as women going to well to draw water from it and men wrestling in the ground The modern toys are predominantly three-dimensional which are made by turning and showcase modern themes and patterns. a very popular line give children toys that are powered by their imagination not by batteries toys remain the inseparable part of every child's life 
but unfortunately present day kids are not getting them in their hands toys depict the imagination creativity and innocence of a child's mind do not replace it with modern day gadgets let your child grow as you because that is where the true essence of childhood lies give your child his childhood give him varanasi wooden lacquerware and toys